Okay, YouTube, so I'm here with Janella, as you all have seen her before, and we are going through, is this considered grooming? Yes. Okay, so we're having a marathon grooming appointment, and what Janella is doing in this appointment is she is trimming off all of the loose hair around my lock that has not uh, consolidated into the lock yet as I am one year into my locks so I just wanted to show you guys kind of a little bit of a before and after and I'll do another clip of a demo of her um, actually doing the grooming but on this side you'll see um, this is the the locks that have not been trimmed yet and if you look at them, you'll see that there is a decent amount of frizz. And it's not that it looks bad, right? It's just that it's hair that is around the lock that just has not yet consolidated in. And you can see how my hair is kind of poofy and kind of stacked on top of each other. And on this side, these are the locks that have been grown. They're, they don't have the same kind of excess hair around them. They are smooth and interestingly, you can see how they hang even longer. One thing that Janella was explaining is that because of all the loose hair around the lock, it just causes the locks to kind of stack up on each other. Whereas when they don't have that same kind of excess hair around them, they're able to hang straight. So it's just really interesting to see the difference of the locks when they are groomed versus not groomed. So Janelle, if you want to walk us through an explanation of what exactly you're doing, that'd be good. Okay, what I'm doing right now, I'm getting all the loose hair. This, this is pretty much excess hair that is not going to lock at this point. So what I'm doing is just trimming, cleaning up the locks, just getting rid of the excess hair. And then that way, as your locks continue to lock and mature, you will have that defined and uniform lock pattern. And it will be very clean. So that's pretty much what I'm doing today. Okay. And so this one, is this pretty much groomed or is this a new one that you're starting? Ah, uh, no, the new one. Let's find a new one. Okay, this will be a new one. And as you can see, there's all this excess hair on that lock. I want to see if I can ask. Actually, if you pull it straight out, we can yeah, see it with yeah. the white backdrop behind. Right. Mm -hmm. all, all of this is just excess hair that at this, at this point, it is not going to lock into the, the lock that has already been locked. So pretty much what I'm doing, I'm just going to cut all of this excess hair and make sure that I don't cut in to your lock as I'm doing this because if you cut into the lock what you will do is weaken the lock and as the lock weakens it will break off so you have to be very careful you know in doing this and I just kind of just separate the hair from the locks all the loose hair and that's what I'll and then one thing that you had shared previously is that there are these kind of bunches where you're noticing there's still points in the lock that are still budding a little bit and you're being careful to not cut those buds off because if we cut the buds off then that would for sure cause thinning, right? Correctly. Well, these are like here is one. And this is pretty much all the way to the shaft of the locks. The shaft is the inside part of the locks. So this is part of it. So I will not cut into this because if I cut it as her, as your locks get longer and heavy, then what would happen if I cut into part of that shaft, it will weaken the lock and what, you know, it will begin to break from where it was cut into. So I'm just making sure that I will just cut around it and just let this continue to do what it has to do, which is to, to lock up into the rest of the shaft of your locks. Okay. So this is all the hair that was left after we were done trimming it all off. I mean, that's enough to cover somebody's head easily. Hey 
YouTube, I am back with Izzy, who always comes running into the bathroom. Cat hair. As soon as I start to film, I really need to brush you. You are shedding like nuts. Okay, we're gonna put you down now. Okay. Okay. All right, so. Alright, I'm back from my appointment that I had yesterday for my lock grooming. And as you can see, my roots are freshly retwisted and my hair may look significantly less thick to you. And that is because we shaved off a solid afro, uh, an, a, an afro head's worth of hair off of my locks. So if we look at my locks, you don't see, there's like virtually no frizz. Virtually no a frizz. So I have 210 locks. My loctician had to 210 times over pluck all the hair out of the loose hair that I hadn't locked in yet and trim all of that off. So it's, um, yeah, it's looking good. I'm surprised at how, I'm just looking at the mirror behind my phone, I'm surprised at how thinner they look and not like, <laughs> clearly they aren't thin, but how thinner they look in comparison to how plump they were before because we shaved all that hair off. But it feels good. Um, I think I got most of the loose strays out. I gave my hair like a really good shake again today to see if I can get more of the hair out that's just kind of resting in there and, and hiding out, but I shake, shook it this morning and a lot of it came out. So this is uh, what it looks like. And I'll show you the side here. Yeah, here. And it's the back. And, uh, yeah. It's good. So I'm happy to have that done and out of the way. Um, my loctician Janella says that she doesn't anticipate that I will need to do something like that again for at least another two years. And then two years in, you know, we probably would have another session like that where she would just go through and get whatever's out that hasn't yet locked in. And I would imagine it would only be for the two strand portion part of my hair because, let's see if I can, clearly delineate yeah I mean pretty much here you if you look closely you can still see a hint of that two strand twist pattern so that was being hidden by the fuzz that was on top and for some of them you still can't see anymore but they're like my front and my sides it's visible but as you can see from here to here is like where all of the palm rolling is and this is where the lock is and it's very smooth through there so I imagine that once we get into that, like she said, two to three year window out, then that is the part, the two strands was part that would need to uh, have some more trimming. Sorry. It's just cat hair in the air. Okay, that's it. I will be back soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.